So we conclude the summer of 2021. So my sixth season where I had a little bit of freedom to live where I want. Uh, I work remotely now and um, obviously there's been some changes in our um, uh, lives and uh, but at the same time a lot of new exploring to do and I thought I would uh, talk about all the nice things that I discovered these last three months. So obviously as you guys have been watching I continue to do intermittent fasting, continue to correct some ways of, of eating and lifestyle and um, I did it a little bit more aggressively uh, this summer than last summer I want to say mostly because uh, I moved out to Phoenix, right? Last summer I was in Ellensburg, which is a very familiar town for me. I find every time I move or something changes, I get a new job or something changes in my life, make new friends, it's a lot easier to also change my lifestyle at the same time, right? If I have a bad habit that I need to correct, moving is a great time to, to start over, right? I hope some of you guys watching are making use of the quarantine to do that. And uh, I noticed I had a whole lot more money in my pocket because of all the intermittent fasting. I wasn't mindlessly uh, wasting my money. Well, not only wasting it, but putting it on my waist, right? Uh, and so it was almost like getting additional stimulus money when I was doing the intermittent fasting. Stimulus money now and stimulus money when I save on my medical expenses down the line, right? It, it really did feel like that. I really loved it. Now, um, of course, I'm living in Airbnbs, which means constantly moving around. But it's been a blessing because um, I find that I used to hate it when I had when I got squeezed out of a place, right? That the owner would um, raise the rent or uh, refuse to renew my place. But lately, I've been treating it like maybe God wants me to discover something new. I ran into some conflict with my previous landlord. And when I left, I ended up sleeping a night in my car. That was on August 19th, and um, Jupiter was in opposition. I had a great time sleeping under Jupiter, taking photographs, and a um, very good time. A lasting memory, if you will. And plus, there were new things to discover at this Airbnb compared to the last one. I won't say which one's good or bad, but different experiences and... Um, as long as I make new connections, it's good. Now, you may have noticed this summer, I stopped complaining about biases, right? I used to talk about biases for being single. Lately, my agenda has been on educating, right? So I had a tutoring client of mine who was very upset that he could never prepare food for me because I have dietary restrictions. And he wanted to know what he could prepare for me. Now you gotta understand, you got a client that you only know for a month or two. I hate to, 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 to delve into all my medical restrictions, right? It's hard enough to get a job when you have health concerns, right? And um, given that, you know, if, if it's something I have to bring up, right? If their home is just not habitable for me because of, allergies then I have to bring it up but when it's something that's not even part of the job right I don't go to their home to taste food right I'm not a wine taster just don't right I'm sorry I cannot eat that should be the end of it that used to anger me a lot when people could not take that for an answer but you know what I'm not gonna go to somebody's home who makes me uncomfortable every day I might as well educate him and if he doesn't want to listen, I lose that job. Well, I was lo I'm losing an opportunity that I hate going to anyway. So I decided to bite the bullet and educate him. And I said, um, he told me that he, he has experience cooking for people with allergies. And it, I told him, okay, well, I, I, I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time for so many weeks, but let me tell you something. I know you could probably prepare something for me, but as you know, given that you're a new client, I really didn't want to bring up, in order for me to allow you to safely prepare food for me would require me to disclose all this. And finally I explained to him, you know, you, you gotta understand there are some people who are not comfortable with that. At first he was very defensive. You know, this is the, that's a different story. You know, you just have to tell me what, and uh, eventually I told him, well, how about, how about this? Let's make it so you can prepare food for me so you know what it's like. And so there was a little back and forth and 
uh, the next week he, he finally understood and he, he had a very, uh, he gave me a very heartfelt apology. So that's good. Um, it's not that uh, people with different diets matter, it's the education around that that matters. Right? I was wrong to say different lives matter, I really was. Education about different lives matter, right? It's not the lives that matter, everybody's life matters, right? I used to be very angry about biases against singles. Let me give you an example. Last summer, we had gone back to the office for a month, a month and a half before COVID came back again, obviously. Uh, my uh, coworker had uh, family members with COVID-related problems and asked me if I could donate some of my paid time off. And uh, I did, and um, later that year, I wanted to go see a lunar eclipse, and I didn't have any time, so I was racing back and forth, and and then I didn't have any paid time off to do the Computer Olympia. I had to take quite a few days unpaid, and so um, I was really upset about that at the time, but then, um, you may have noticed I stopped talking about it uh, recently. What had happened was, um, one day we had a, a Zoom meeting every week right we have a zoom meeting and one day not this one coworker, but another one who had taken leave before her showed up to the zoom meeting with newborn baby eight nine ten months maybe crying in the background and it just made me feel so guilty about talking about all that and i thought about it you know they got to, the 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 co-worker that i helped got to take care of their family this co-worker that i didn't help you know, got got some maternity leave. It wasn't much, but and I got to see the lunar eclipse, and I made it home safely. Let's face it; it's not like I I I I, I missed out on something or was unsafe or anything. I made it home in one piece. I I I, I um, it, it was wrong for me to be bitter about it. I think we should all get to do what we want to do, right? Whether it be taking care of children or seeing a lunar eclipse. And bottom line is lives matter right it wasn't because of single or not right and uh, it, it was wrong of me to, to to be bitter about of other people's choices it's nice that i got uh, that warm experience i got to uh, attend the computer olympia but i ran into some conflict which really highlighted uh, you got to know who your friends are i had some difficulty getting uh, my other opponents who are in different parts of the world, right? I have two opponents from Germany, a couple from Taiwan and Japan, I think one from Moscow, and I couldn't get the time. Everybody uh, wanted me to suit their time zone, and I also couldn't get the payment in correctly because obviously uh, uh, they couldn't find the right person to discuss it with. I, w I wasn't sure how many uh, uh, events I was going to attend. I didn't want to pay for it and realized it couldn't go. And, and so they canceled the whole thing. For, uh, but I got to see how my computer games so matched up against some of the opponents, not all of them. So that was good. And then I went to a board game club here in the Phoenix area, made some friends there, got to educate people about uh, differences in human lives, right? dietary differences, sexual preference differences, sexual orientation differences, especially solo sexuality, right? Uh, and the differences in uh, lifestyle. And um, my goal is no longer to bend the movement on who matters and who doesn't, or and, uh, it's to educate people that there are different uh, ways of life, right? And it was wrong with me. I was worried when we go back to the office that people were, at, at the beginning of the summer, I was worried that when we finally go back to the office, my colleagues are going to once again stick their hand out and ask for the, the time off for various family issues. You know what? I, 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 it, if their family issues are pressing, it's, it's, not, it's not wrong for me to help them out. I, it, it, they, they, they need to take care of their family and children. I also need to go see the lunar eclipse. Let's make it both happen, right? That's my new point of view.